All right, everyone. So we're playing the $20 double board bomb pot game here at Hustler. About 30 minutes into the session, I looked down at Ace Ace King King double suited. We go to flops of 10 5 3 rainbow and 8 5 2 with two spades. When action checks to me, I bet 80. Over to the button who makes the call. Small blind decides to put everything in the middle. Folds back to me. I, of course, make the call and the button calls as well. So we're going three ways to a couple runouts. The turn to bring a four of spades on the top, king of hearts on the bottom. Rivers bring a seven of clubs on the top and a three of spades on the bottom. The small blind shows his hand. He has jack, 10, 10, eight. The button turns over his. He has seven, six, six, four. So he makes a straight on both boards and him and I are gonna chop it up here. About 20 minutes after the previous hand, I looked down at jack, 10, nine, three, single suit in middle position. We go to flops of ace, 10, six, rainbow and jack, 10, three, rainbow. When action checks to me, I just decide to go with the hand and pot it for 160. Folds to a late position player who's the only one that makes the call. So we're going heads up to a couple turns. The turns bring the king of clubs on the top and the five of hearts on the bottom. And as planned, I go ahead and put everything in the middle. And he, of course, makes the call. So we're going heads up to a couple rivers. The rivers bring an ace of spades on the top and the jack of diamonds on the bottom. He turns over his hand. He has ace, queen, seven, two. So uh, he's got trips on the top and we're gonna chop it up here with the full house on the bottom. Shortly after the previous hand, I looked down at ace, ace, nine, seven, single suit in the hijack. We go to flops of jack, eight, eight, rainbow and jack, seven, two, rainbow. When action checks to me, I bet the full pot of 160 and we get two callers. So we're going three ways to a couple turns. The turns bring the ace of clubs on the top and the six of clubs on the bottom. I of course put everything in the middle and both players call. So still going three ways to a couple rivers. The rivers bring the queen of hearts on the top and the nine of hearts on the bottom. The first opponent bets $300 on the side. Other player folds. I turn over my hand. He then turns over the queen eight of spades and mucks his other two cards. So pretty fortunate to fill up there on the turn on the top. And we're gonna scoop this one here. Within a couple orbits of the previous hand, I looked down at ace, eight, six, four, single suit in the middle position. We go to flops of seven, four, three with two hearts and seven, six, six with two diamonds. An early position player bets 150, one caller action then folds over to me. So my first reaction to this hand was to just go ahead and flat call as obviously I have a pretty strong hand on both boards, but you know, when you're playing these bomb pot games, especially with one that has a high ante, such as this one, $20, you're gonna see that, you know, you fold for an orbit or two and you know, two, $300 is gone from your stack. So if I can go ahead and put everything in the middle and take, you know, the $460 pot without having to win at showdown, I really don't mind doing that. So that's what I decide to do, put everything in the middle and the first opponent folds pretty quickly, but the second opponent, guy directly across from me thinks for a while and ends up folding he later tells me that he had a set on the top and an open-ended straight draw on the bottom so we're going to take this one down what's up guys wayne back here with you so just taking a second for a couple quick announcements first off if you're interested in playing the game you've just been watching or any of the other great plo games that hustler has to offer reach out to the host of the games whose name is jesse Really cool guy. Um, you know, if you're interested in playing this or the 5-5 PLO that actually runs daily, they also have some higher stakes. Uh, they have a 10-20-20 as well as a 25-50. So reach out to him, let him know I sent you and he'll take care of you. As far as upcoming trips are concerned, Josh and I are gonna be at the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida from January 11th through the 18th. That's gonna be for the Lucky Hearts Tournament Series. We're gonna be playing some cash as well. Um, we actually have permission to film, so we're really looking forward to getting out some great content for you guys. And if you see us, drinks are on us, and we'll actually give you some information on how to get a free Madhouse hoodie. So uh, looking forward to seeing you guys down there. And if you have any questions, of course, as always, either comment down below or reach out to me directly. And uh, let's get back to the action. Shortly after the previous hand, about two hours into the session, I looked down at King, Queen, Jack, 10, double suited in the big blind. We go to flops of Ace, Nine, Eight with two clubs and 10, 10, Nine, Rainbow. Small blind checks to me, I bet 80, and only the cutoff makes the call. So we're going heads up to a couple turns. The turn to bring a seven of spades on the top and a five of hearts on the bottom. So almost having nut nut here on both boards. I don't want to scare him off. So I decide on 200 and he thinks a bit and makes the call. So still going heads up to a couple rivers. The rivers bring a six of diamonds on top and two of clubs on the bottom. And I kind of actually thought about checking to induce a bluff and go for the check raise, but my opponent actually checked out a turn. So that goes out the window and I decide on 470, you know, with a one liner on the board, you know, he might, uh, you know, call me with just 
you know, a straight and not much on the bottom if he missed. But he thinks a bit and folds. So didn't get any more value, but uh, happy to take down a decent pot here. I go card dead for a while. This hand's about 45 minutes after the previous one when I looked down at King 10, 9, 7, single suited on the button. We go to flops of 9, 9, 3 with two hearts and Queen Jack 10 with two diamonds. When action checks to me, I bet 60 and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to a couple turns. The turns really don't change anything with the two of spades on the top and a three of clubs on the bottom. When action checks to me again, although I do have a pretty strong hand here on both boards, there are a lot of draws out there, so I definitely want to charge them for those. So I bet 300, and we only get one caller, so we're going heads up to a couple rivers. The rivers bring the eight of spades on the top and the ace of spades on the bottom. When my opponent checks to me once again, I decide to go for all of it. Um, you know, obviously having the nuts here on the bottom and improving to a flush on top, I feel pretty good about it. And he thinks a bit and tosses in a chip to indicate a call. I turn over my hand and he ends up turning over the king 10, 10, 8. So he also has Broadway on the bottom, but we're gonna get three quarters of the pot with the flush on the top. About 15 minutes after the previous hand, I looked down at ace, eight, seven, six, single suit in the small blind. We go to flops of nine, four, three with two spades and king 10, seven rainbow. I check and action checks through. So still going eight ways to a couple turns. The turns are gin for us on both boards with the six of spades on top and seven of spades on the bottom. I check trying to set the trap and over to the late position player who bets 50, folds to me. I then make it 170, folds back to him and he makes the call. So we're going heads up to a couple rivers. The rivers bring a seven of diamonds on top and four of spades on the bottom. My opponent has a little bit over $400 left and instead of trying to bet it all and potentially scare him off, I settle on 240 and my opponent quickly does make the call. I turn it over and he ends up turning over the king 10, nine, eight with the king 10 of spades. So I didn't think he was that strong. Otherwise I would have bet it all, but uh, still happy to take down a pretty good pot here. A couple orbits after the previous hand, I looked down at a seven, five, four, single suit in the cutoff. We go to flops of jack six, three with two hearts and ace five, five with two diamonds. When action checks to me, I bet 60 and only the same opponent from the previous hand makes the call. So we're going heads up to a couple turns. The turns bring the king of clubs on top, nine of spades on the bottom. My opponent checks. He has about 280 left. So I put everything in the middle and he quickly makes the call. So we're going heads up to a couple rivers. The rivers bring a seven of hearts on top, seven of clubs on the bottom. I turn over my hand and my opponent turns over his. He has king, queen, jack three. So he had two pair on the top, but we end up getting there on the river and we're gonna scoop him yet again. Within the next orbit, I look down at king, jack, 10, seven, single suit in middle position. We go to flops of nine, seven, four rainbow and queen, nine, six rainbow. The small blind, who is the opponent I've played against the previous couple hands, pots it for 160. Folds to me, I make the call and there's a late position caller as well. So we're going three ways to a couple turns. I continue running hot against the same opponent when the turns bring the eight of spades on top and 10 of clubs on the bottom. He puts the rest of his chips in the middle for 130. And over to me, although I do have nut nut here, there are a couple flush draws there that you know I wanna charge this late position player for. So I go ahead and pot it. He quickly folds and we're going heads up against the same opponent to a couple rivers. The rivers bring out a three of hearts and a four of clubs on the bottom. My opponent says, you're not gonna get me this time as he turns over jack, jack, nine, nine. I turn over my hand to show him the bad news. And once again, I stack the same opponent here. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 500, out for 2610. So profit of 2110. If you haven't already done so, check out the previous video. I'll go ahead and link it up here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.